I'm super serious. Curious, you dummy. Let's just get started. But yeah, Iris gets Joe. Hoo hoo. Okay. That's a perfectly good lead. Discharge. But plus one special. Yeah, this is gonna definitely one shot the hoo hoo. Next up, QF. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? We're finally continuing on to Pokemon White Virgin Weathlock, episode 17. If you guys watched the previous episode, we beat it Bianca again, we got the Dark Stone, and we met guests a few times talking about speeches, liberating Pokemon, and us trying to resurrect the Dark Stone for us to face the Lord Ed. And now, we're gonna be taking on Hopefully, Iris in this episode or Jaden, but we're playing Pokemon White, so we get Iris. If you guys are playing Pokemon Black, you guys get Jaden, and hopefully, we get our eighth gym badge. But before we continue on with the video, if you guys do like the video, like the video down below, but new to our subscribe button, click the bell for notification when new videos come up. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and also my schedule when I post up new videos or wall. Linked in the description below. I did some training off screen and I got everybody up to level 43 to 42. Really, no moves that have changed at all. So I think we're perfectly fine to continue up to Opalus. And also, we have to follow Iris. But before we do that, we're gonna have to get ourselves a brand new encounter into the next route. As a way to get ourselves a new Pokemon, I guess you could say. For us to have a new friend into our box. Or party. Probably the box. But also the party. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's see. This is Route 9. Let's go. First encounter. What's it gonna be? Hopefully something good. Okay, a Sharpedo. Yet another female. Oh. Uh, Serene Grace. Okay. Alright, Hypnosis. Can we put this thing to sleep? There we go. Alright, go to sleep, Sharpedo. And now we're gonna suck. Hopefully this doesn't kill. I mean, oh, I should have bubble beam. I should have Okay, good. Alright, let's chuck in Ultra Ball. Let's go. Alright, that's perfect way. So go, Ultra Ball. Come on. Catch. 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 Yeah. Alright, Sharpedo. Onto our team. I won't say into our team, but into our box. But at least we got a Sharpedo. So at least that's pretty good. I'm gonna nickname Sharpedo Jaws Break. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go into this area right here. Back to Blizzard, but we can go up to the next route, which is gonna be route number. Route number 10. Again, new encounter. What's it gonna be? I mean, that is an electric type, but it's a mine. It's a fucking mine. Watch, Slash is just gonna have iron shield. Just why? Copycat. Okay. You're just copycatting your own switch. Watch, this Slash is gonna kill. Oh, no. Did it. Huh. I'm shocked, but. Go to the ball. One, two, three, quick. Well, 
I mean, it is an electric type, so I guess I'll take it, but at the same time, it's just a mine, and, like, it's not gonna do anything much. I decided to name it Happy Cheer. So, Happy Cheer to mine, and even though it's probably gonna be in our box, maybe forever. And now, we get to finally go up here and talk to Iris. Just a little farther. Alright. This is it. And let's go in. And just jump right into this house. Oh, explain. What you are holding is the Dark Stone. Zekrom, who will likely awaken from the Dark Stone. And Westrim, who is already awake, were well, once the same Pokemon. That single dragon Pokemon, along with twin heroes, brought a new region into being. And people and Pokemon had happy lives. One day, however, the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth, and the younger brother who sought ideals, began to argue about how to decide which one of them was right. The single dragon type Pokemon that had been with them all that time it split its body into two. One sided with the older brother, and the other with the younger brother. In its pursuit of truth, the white dragon type Pokemon sought to usher a new and better world. Its name was Reshram. And the other was Black Dragon type Pokemon who sought ideals and usher in a new world, a world of hope. Its name was Zekrom. Because the two of them were once the same entity, the battle waged endlessly, and neither one could be declared the winner. They simply exhausted themselves. The twin heroes proclaimed that there was no one side that was right, and ceased the conflict. But, but! The two heroes son started the battle again, and an instant later, Reshram and Zekrom destroyed the universe with fire and lightning. Then, they disappeared. But, but, if people walk with Pokemon in the right way, we don't have to worry anymore about the world being destroyed. I mean, Reshram and Zekrom worked hard for everyone and made a new region, so it should be alright, I think. True, Pokemon cannot speak. People may hurt Pokemon even more by imposing their selfish thoughts on them, but no matter what, Pokemon and people believe in each other, need each other, and will continue to live together. Yeah, so I'm never gonna forgive Team Plasma for trying to separate Pokemon and us. Sorry, we got a little off topic at the end. That is everything we know. Unfortunately, we don't know how to wake up the legendary Pokemon. I made a promise to Alda. You must win the gym badge from the Uplicit Pokemon Gym. Always, you go and be always opponent at the Pokemon Gym. Yay! Look out, I'm really, really strong, just like Drayden. Alright, Iris. So, we get to go and take on the Uplicit City Gym. So, let's go up here to find where the gym is, which the gym should be right over here. Yeah, so here it is, the Upalicit City Gym, where we can get our last gym badge. Who are we going to put up in the forefront? Let's put Download and Slow Stump right up front. And let's go. First trainer. Alright, the giant type gym in Upalicit City is where tough trainers show they can carve out our own path. Alright. Ooh. Who trainer Jessica with a little pop? Okay, that's a pretty good start. We have to deal with just a little pop so far. It's level 41. Alright, discharge. Yeah, all these Pokemon are probably gonna be like in their 40s. Like, probably. We're gonna discharge again. And this should take out the little pop. Yep. So, first trainer down. Alright. Continue on. Let's go up. Up over here. We jump this ledge to go over here. To face this trainer. I will tell a trainer who beats me how to move forward in this gym. Okay. Like, that's pretty cool. So... Once I beat you, I get to learn how to move forward with this gym, Cool Trainer Joe. Crowbat. 
Alright, it has acrobatics. It definitely has that. But we are holding the Violite, so... Maybe we could take it well. Yeah! Siding. Can we get a confusion? Oh, I should have went for Discharge. Like, I should have went for Discharge. I'll go back again. Alright, come on. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Uh-oh. 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 Do I play things safe? Or should I recover? You know what? I'm tempted. Let's go. Come on, don't take it, take it. <gasps> yep. Yep, we just took that really big risk. And it paid off. Wow, you beat me! Alright, we're definitely gonna heal up with the Hyper Potion right here. But yeah, we took a chance and we paid off! So, what do you... Jump from a triangle mark. When you land on switch on the giant controller move, you can move on ahead. Okay, thanks. I already know that, but hey, thanks. Alright, can we go? Yep, right over here. We're gonna have to face you now. Do you understand how the dragon's heads move? Yeah. Alright, Doug Trainer, what do you have? Two Pokemon. You have a Spinder, which is level 40. Alright, we're gonna use. Discharge right here. Hopefully it gets a paralysis or paralyzed. Tita. We're gonna signal beam. We're just gonna suck a punch. Alright, that's doing nothing. Uh Actually, I got a better idea. I got something better. We're gonna go right into so stump right here. So so stump. Dizzy punch. All right, since you're a physical attacker, we're just gonna go straight for the curse right here. Wait to it. Wait to crap. That did like 40 damage. Alright, good. You wasted the move by going for Tita Dance. Cuss. Attack rolls, defense rolls. We're gonna see if we can cuss again. Detail, attack rolls, defense rolls. And I think we can just go for the earthquake. Cause I think, yeah, suck a punch. I think earthquake takes out Spinda even with plus two. Yeah. Nope, we didn't get our act together yet. Hit power on. Alrighty, that's honestly fine. Crunch. And now we snap out. We're plus two right now, but we're still in slow start. So yeah, that wasn't gonna do anything. We finally got our act together. Oh, we should have went for the earthquake there, because that would have hit hit out on deep on the ground. Yeah, you're gonna hit it. It's not gonna do much because we're plus two in defense and it's not very effective. So yeah, but since we got our act together, we got hit out on and gonna take this. So I'll see ya. And that's it for Cool Trainer Florentino. Alright. We're gonna see if Come on, do we have anything low items? No, we just had the hyper potions. 
which I'll use one on Slow Stomp. And let's continue up to Kia Jump This, which has one arm going up, has the head going another way. We go right up, go to here now. We circle around, go, and now we're gonna have to face you now. So this chain is up next. All right. So what does this chain have? How many Pokemon? Only one. Okay, good. Michino. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. We'll take the fact you only have a Michino. So we're gonna signal beam here. Wake up, Slap. Honestly, that's okay because that's coming from a Michino. Alright, we're just gonna recover here. So that we can gain back HP for our next opponent. So we're back up to full. Yep. And we're just gonna signal beam kill. You're just using slam. And that takes Machino out. Alrighty. So Machino's taken care of. And we gain over two thousand dollars. Oh yeah, we gain like over tons of money for taking on this gym. But we jump this ledge right here. Down the other goes that way, which I think it doesn't. Yeah. So we gotta jump this ledge. Go here. Thanks for coming. I happily welcome you. But I may be a little rough on you. Oh. Let's just hope you don't have anything that makes you very rough. Yeah. Oh. Poison to mirror mask. Okay. How much that's gonna do? Discharge. Oh. I mean, you got my guts going. Cause I'm a fit. Nah, I'm just kidding. Come on, get it, paralyzed. Come on. There we go. You know what? I'll fight you, Poygon 2 on Poygon 2. Let's go. Alright, you may mana rise, but I'm gonna signal beam. This charge how is that gonna do? We are fire light. Okay. Recover. Oh no. Signal beam. Recover. Oh, how did you? And now, signal beam. Yep, this takes. There you go. All Poyon 2 is better than his. Oh, my heart aches. Hey, man. Advancing your dreams is up to you. But if you proceed, prepare yourself. Move forward half hardly is disrespectful to your Pokemon. Yeah, you're right. Right, that's why I'm gonna be using a full heal on download. But yeah, that was a perfect battle. So, go here. And we're gonna We have no choice, but we're gonna jump this ledge. Get that to go up and put that one way. Which we're gonna go up to that area, which is gonna have us go down these set of stairs. And that's gonna lead us to this trainer right here. So let's go. I will test you to see how well you really know about Pokemon. Okay. Alrighty. So, what do you have? So, Cool Trainer Christine with a Clava. Alright, download, come on out. You have three Pokemon. Alright. Flame Wheel, how much that's gonna do? Not very much, we're gonna discharge. 
hopefully get, get paralyzed. Nope. We're gonna have to discharge it once again. That was a crit. Come on. We'll recover up. Defense call. Alright, it drew. So, we're just gonna recover and just side beam. So that we can get ready for his next Pokemon from the send out. So, side beam. It's just gonna flame wheel again. That's not gonna do anything. And take out the Kalava. Alright, so one down. So, what's up next? Archeops. Alright, Archeops is gonna need a discharge. Just immediately. We're just gonna have to discharge it. So come on, can this one shot, one shot, one shot? Oh no. We're gonna have to discharge one more time. Can we take this off the button? Okay. Alrighty. Archeops is pretty tough. It has a really good attack. And with no items, Archeops is really good. Ursuing. Yep, we're gonna heal up with the Hyper Potion. To get back up our HP. Scary face. Oh, okay, so we could just recover it, but... Hey, you know, didn't want to take that chance. Flash! Alrighty, can we get a confusion? Nope. Let's throw some defense. 105, what's Poyon do? 86 for combined by life. I was like, 31 damage. Yeah! Oh, you have Shadow Tag! Do I have any Aether? Actually, I do have an Aether. Yep, I- Alright, since I know your Shadow Tag. What? Come on, hopefully we get a Paralysis here. Nope. What I'm concerned about with Slash is that it has a high chance for a critical hit. That's what I'm very concerned with, and I don't know what the... How much damage a critical hit can do. We're gonna have to discharge again. Hope for paralysis. Oh no. I'm tempted. Let's go. Come on. Don't be a crit. Don't be a crit. Okay. Your Pokemon's troop. I think you talked about Pokemon's full troop potential. I'm gonna try to see if I can go back and go heal. Okay, so apparently I tried finding a way to go back and go heal, but apparently I can't find that, so. Oh, I can't even go back and heal. Essentially, just leads me all the way back to that veteran that we end up facing. So, because of that, I'm essentially stuck having to use an. Or oh, I'm gonna have to switch up team members. Actually, yeah, I'll switch up team members. I think we should do that. I'll put Knight and Boon off in the forefront here. To be honest here, just for them to gain some experience. And come on, let's go. Get one to go up. One's gonna go another way. So we have to, since this doesn't lead anywhere, we're gonna have to go up. Go over here, go up to here, circle around here. Yep, this is gonna lead automatically. Actually, this doesn't lead to any trainer. But if we jump this ledge, this goes up. That goes this way. So now we can go over here to face this trainer right here. I wonder what you would do as a trainer. Well, let's see. 
Alrighty, so cool trader Jasmine. Got a pick, so we're gonna have to switch that right up into Bruno here. So come on out, Bruno. We trace what's gonna be the fairly bold up sword. Okay, that's pretty nice. Yeah, so up here, this should take out the bull picks. Like, if this doesn't, I'll be very surprised. Alright, so, full pick down. Pig Knight! Alright, so your whole team is basically fire types. So, sup. And yeah, this should take Pig Knight out. Yeah. And we beat Cool Chair Jasmine. And now we're gonna go all the way here to jump this ledge. And this goes up to here. That goes one way. And we're gonna go through this way now to circle around to here. To go up to here. And then we're gonna jump this ledge. Or go to this way, which leads directly to this veteran. You have 10 years experience, finally. I'll give you a taste of a veteran skill. Okay. So, we're just gonna see. Oh, and also, question of the day, which. Also, another crystal. You have Hydreigon! Hydreigon. Oh, God. But, question of the day. Actually, I can't really think of any except what is your favorite Dragon type Pokemon? I say that because Dragon types are like the most popular typing in all Pokemon. So I'm curious on what your favorite typing is. For me, anyways, I've all which your favorite Dragon type. For me, I always love I always love the Pseudos. I always love Hydragon, Dragon. I always love Salamence, Dragonite. Like Garchomp, they are all really cool looking Pokemon. But speaking of High Dragon, we're taking out High Dragon. But yeah, an actual Dragon type Pokemon in this gym. Crocodile. Oh, Crocodile. Yeah. Dick. I should buy the fence. I'm just gonna iron head. I think we could take it. I think we could. If we don't, I would be so peeved. Okay, good. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, what is what is some of your favorite dragon type Pokemon? Well, we beat a crystal, like our seventh crystal in this entire series. I think this is it. I think that's our last trainer. Before we are able to face the gym leader. Jump here. And... And let's see... Yep! I am actually going to go back and heal up. So, I'll actually do that before we take on the gym leader. Okay. So, we made it all the way here to Iris. What are we going to put up in the forefront to face her? Let's go down low. You've been our trusty partner since we since this entire gym, we're gonna have you take on Iris. Okay, final gym badge. Let's go. Hi, I'm Iris, the amazingly strong gym leader. Tell me, what Pokemon are you using? How will you fight? Ooh, I'm super serious. So let's just get started. Oh yeah, you're such a little kid, Aubrey. Oh yeah, hey Joe. But yeah, Iris. Against Joe. Hoo hoo. Okay. That's a perfectly good lead. Hey, download. Actually, should we go all X special on it? And just sweep Iris from there. Let's go. Let's go. I'm tempted. Let's do it. Take down. The pain of my Pokemon, I feel it too. Okay. Discharge. 
The park one special. Yeah, this is gonna definitely one shot the hoo hoo. Next up, QF. Let's go, say no bean. Ice bean, how much that's gonna do? Ooh. We're plus one. Fat did nothing. Oh no. Thankfully, we have a full store here. But oh my god. Wow. I need to get this kill I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Come on. Get it paralyzed. 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 Come on. Yes! We'll cover here. Alright. Fully paralyzed. Alright, that didn't do much, but at the very least, if we can get a crit with Signal Beam, that could take him. Um, nope, she's gonna heal. She's definitely gonna heal. Don't have full store, don't have full store. Alright, Propulsion, okay. That's honestly better than a full store. Because Kyum is still paralyzed. Alright, now we got a crit. Come on, get a confusion, get a confusion, get a confusion. Ice beam, how much? Alright. Come on. See no beam kill, see no beam kill. Nope. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Okay. She definitely got a potion again. Yep. So I'm just gonna recover back up. Alrighty, come on, signal beam quit. Come, not signal beam quit, confused. Confused, confused, confused. Nope. How much is Slash gonna do? Okay. Come on, get a confusion, a confusion. Paralyzed, okay. That's perfect. Can signal beam take him out? Almost. Oh my god. Oh my god, side beam. Alright, good! We took Kyum out! And now she's only down to just one final Pokemon. Lock on. No. We don't want to unlock on. Alright, what's your last one? Joel Kick! No, not yet. No, we can fight on. Oof. Sucker Punch. How much? That Kyoam is basically the, the boss Pokemon for this. We're gonna recover here just in case. And play things perfectly fine here. Up to 100, back to up to 144 hit points. Joltik may be faster, but Joltik can't really help me much of anything other than Signal Beam. Alright, Saibi. Alright! We finished Dyrus. Eighth gym badge. Ugh. I did my best, but we lost. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. That was so cool. I'm so happy I could battle a trainer as strong as you. Yes. We got our eighth gym badge. Finally. Oh man, that Kyom was basically like our 8th gym badge challenge. The legend badge. Hey, that's your 8th badge, right? That's so cool. Now every Pokemon will do what you ask, no matter how big they are. You know what? I'll give you this TM too. We got the Sable, which isn't a good move, but that's perfectly fine because we got our 8th badge. Dragon Tail just doesn't do damage. It sends out the air Pokemon to Pokemon too. Oh, hey, I wonder how Mr. Alder's doing. I wonder if he's battling that trainer called Ed in the Pokemon League right now. Do you know about the Pokemon League? It's past Victory World at the end of Route 10. 
Oh, hey. Okay, she's just saying the exact same thing. So, yeah. We beat an Iris and got our eighth badge. Alrighty. So, I, and Professor Juniper, hey. Hello, how is Iris doing? Oh, I came to a point on how to resurrect the legendary Zekrom. I thought it would be better to tell you in person than over the X transceiver. And as for the conclusion, well, I haven't figured it out yet. I'm sure the Pokemon will wake up when it deems someone worthy. More importantly, aren't you amazing? You have all eight of the universe gym badges now, right? You've become so strong. You probably don't even know it, but you've changed a lot since you left November Town. Well then, I'll show you where such a strong trainer should head next. Okay, she's gonna show us all the way to the Route 10 that we already captured our mind in that. <laughs> hey, but thanks very much. Pass through that gate, so da go down Route 10 and you'll arrive at the badge check gates. Once you get through Victory World, which is past the gates, you're finally at the Pokemon League. Oh, that just made me think of when I was showing you around the Pokemon Center in Accumulus Town. Arby, or Accumulus Town. Arby, do you regret staying out on your Pokemon journey? No! Thanks, that's the greatest answer you could give. I was really happy to be able to give you three votes Pokemon as a present. Because Pokemon created chances to meet more wonderful people in Pokemon. Arby, this is a present for you. We got a Master Ball! We can capture any Pokemon without fail! This Master Ball is the most powerful kind of Pokeball. It can catch any Pokemon without fail. This is the only way I could support you, except to say, Be true to yourself. No matter what happens, stay strong and keep going with your Pokemon. See you! Thanks so much, Professor Juniper. But yeah, we finally got our 8th badge, and that's probably the most important thing I saw with the Master Ball. We got a match ball, but most importantly, we got a gym badge. So now, in the next episode, we get to hopefully take on the Pokemon League. Or Victory World, for that matter. But yeah, I'm probably going to have to come prepare for Victory World, so I'm probably going to have to buy more items and such. But yeah, that's perfectly fine. But yeah, we're like 43 minutes in, and I think we could wrap up for today's episode because we got something big in. So, if you guys do like the video, like the video down below and all that, answer the question today down below. Victory World is up next. And hopefully we make it through to get to the Pokemon League. And that would be where our ultimate challenge comes to be. So, until then, I'll see you all next time when we take on the next episode. Which hopefully, we get to make it through a Victory World. Hopefully.